Hello. It's nice to be back making videos. But firstly, the council elections here in Liverpool, Thursday just gone. I stood in the ward of Kensington and Fairfield. It used to just be called Kensington at one time. Uh, so I'll just refer to it as Kensington to keep it short and sweet. I stood in Kensington as an independent. I came third with 114 votes. I was expecting to beat the Green candidates and come second with a higher amount of votes, probably a few hundred, but it didn't. I still came third, which was good, considering the onslaught of uh, abuse and attack from the Liverpool Echo and Mayor Joe Anderson here in Liverpool. Considering that, right, and I wasn't known in the ward, coming third was good. I beat the Conservatives, the Lib, Lib Dems and the Liberals. So I didn't come last. I, I came third, I believe, is good. And also, I have brought to the attention of the people of Kensington their plight and that they've got someone that's prepared to stand up for them. And also, Liverpool and Merseyside in general are well aware now what's happening in Kensington and will be happening to their community if we don't stop this. So, me standing in the ward of Kensington uh, has been very, very productive and I believe successful, right? Regardless of the uh, amount of votes I've got. I was never going to beat Labour. That's just not going to happen yet. But anyway, anyway, uh, I was speaking to people on the doorstep, right? And I'll tell you first and foremost what they weren't interested in. Save the white race. White farmers in South Africa, George Soros, cultural Marxism, even the grooming in Rotherham or whatever it, it is, right? They were not interested, right? They couldn't give a toss if no one mentioned it. Why would they? In fact, the number one issue in the ward of Kensington and Fairfield was rubbish being dumped by the alleyways. I've left a screenshot at the beginning where the alleyways now have got nine uh, different languages on them. One of them is English, can you believe that? But anyway, they've managed to put that in. Uh, the other eight are in various languages. I don't know, Urdu, Arabic, I don't know why, Polish, Russian, I don't know, right? They're in various languages. So the problem was acute in the area where foreigners, let's use that word because otherwise they'll be calling them migrants, asylum seekers, illegal aliens, whatever. Let's stick to just foreigners. They were dumping the rubbish there, right? Now, at the moment, the council and various other do-gooders in the area I believe it is because they didn't understand. So, we've had to put some signs up now to explain that you're not to dump it here. Well, let's see if they work. But anyway, anyway, the main issue in the ward was dumping rubbish. And unfortunately, I'd produced me two leaflets uh, after I found this uh, matter uh, out. And so... I wasted a lot of time leafleting the ward twice with two leaflets when I should have only have done one uh, with hindsight, with hindsight. So I've made a few mistakes, but I won't make them again. But I learned an awful lot speaking to people on the doorstep. Like I've said, with me having to put two leaflets out, I had to get the ward covered. I was racing against the clock. In most, uh, on most occasions, I was by myself leafleting. Other times I was with Joey and Mark and the... I had time off work, so I was racing against the clock. I wouldn't do two leaflets again. They weren't needed. So had I had more time, I would have walked around speaking to people, talking to people. Those I did speak to on the doorstep, whether they were sitting there in the nice warm weather the other week, having a cup of tea or coming in and out of the house with the shopping, I would stop them and say, excuse me, sir, excuse me, madam, will you be voting in the local council elections? To which most said yes. When I explained I was the candidate against any more asylum seekers being dumped in Kensington, um, uh, the only candidate that's um, putting up a sensible, a sensible uh, policy regarding the prostitutes on Shield Road and the money that's been wasted on resources and centres for them, looking after them, in case they get abused or beaten up, where they can get condoms, there's a helpline. £500,000 that cost from the Police and Crime Commissioner, Jane Kennedy, that £500,000 should have went into the community for security measures for uh, people that live in the uh, community, vulnerable people, old people, uh, house alarms and whatever, but CCTV, but anyway, it's been wasted on prostitutes. So when I, before I even explained, they were snatching a leaflet out of my hand, yeah, yeah, we're for you, we're for you. Um, 
as I was talking to them, you build a rapport up, then you have a little laugh and a joke, and you cannot beat it. No video on YouTube can beat this interaction, this hands-on interaction, this human social interaction with one another. You cannot beat it, no matter how many likes Paul Joseph Watson's got. Or Stephen Mullen, you talking about feminism, God. Or Nick Griffin's Kalegi plan, right? You cannot beat this hands-on. Trust me, it's the winning of elections, this talking to people. Trust, that's how you win them. That's how our enemies win them. With a load of bullshit and whatever. But they're talking to them all the same when we're not. Our enemies, our opponents, they want us in cyberspace or on Speaker's Corner all talking to one another. Christ, well, that's another video in itself. I'll get to that in another video. So I learned an awful lot. Now listen to this one. I was walking around getting me signatures and I needed two more. And I was waiting for two guys to come in, but they were at work. So I decided to knock at this door. A woman come out in the 30s talking to her. I uh, explained why I was there, I needed signatures and all that to stand, nomination and all that. I said, well, what are your policies? So I explained them that I was against asylum seekers in Kensington and also to get rid of the prostitutes that are on Shield Road. And you know what she said to me? And this is very, very interesting and very telling as well. I don't live on Shield Road. Now, where she lived by Edge Lane to where Shield Road was, it was about a quarter of a mile away of that. So to believe the people in any ward, any community, are worried about what's happening to the white farmers in South Africa is ludicrous. Let alone girls being groomed in Rotherham or wherever. People are only interested in what's happening to them, right? And that's what where we've got to provide. Also, there was something like 23%. It was under 24% turnout. So that's something near 76, 70% 70 of the people in that ward didn't vote. Now, what's happened, unfortunately, to the ward? A lot of the people living there now are not original residents that were born and bred there or have been there 30 odd years, unlike some have spoke to. So they may believe they're not staying there that long. So what's the community worth fighting for? It's not theirs. They never grew up there. They don't have cherished memories. What we have to do with those people, you have to give them an incentive. Why it's in their interest to uh, vote for, you know, the, um, for a candidate like myself. That's what we have to do and that's what I'll be working on. These people are not from the area, so a lot of them don't have a connection to it. They don't have fond memories like I do here in Norris Green. So they don't have that sort of pride and passion about their area. And also, a lot may not be staying there. So, them people have to be given an incentive because if you mobilise them people, you're wiping out the Labour vote overnight. There's many, many other issues and um, interesting tidbits I'd like to talk to you about. Uh, but I'm going to leave this now. I will be back there in 2019. I will be doing more videos explaining the strategy things I believe will help us uh, doing local elections. I, I, I got an amazing little bag off Amazon. I'll leave the link uh, at the end. Um, a little bag to put your A5 leaflets in. It, it really is a pale. It's, it's the best bag I've ever had. And it was really, really uh, comfortable. It was easy to use. You can get plenty of leaflets in. It was only small as well. Uh, I'll, as I say, I'll leave that at the end. That's off Amazon. Uh, .co.uk. It was only £6 as well. So, uh, as I'm talking to you now, I'm trying to remember some other little things I need to tell you before I close the video. Um, what local politics is the way forward? Not on Speaker's Corner, talking to yourself, or on cyberspace, right? Or listening to Stephen Molyneux and Paul Joseph Watson achieving none. We can still get in there and turn this around. We haven't got to win hundreds of councillors or MPs. We've just got to get them in the right places, make enough noise, and we'll have the people behind us. Don't worry, we will, right? I'll, t I'll end this video now because I'm trying to think what else there was and I don't want to get tongue-tied. Okay, thank you, but I'll, I'll be doing more videos again soon. Cheers.